This weekend in Washington, people who hope to travel to Mars will gather to talk about the privately funded project that aims to take them there. We're going to talk with the CEO and co-founder of Mars One in a moment. But first, John Blackstone reports on the effort to put humans on the red planet within a decade. Of all the planets, Mars has a particular hold on the human imagination. Its barren beauty has been revealed to us over the past decade. In spite of the discoveries made by NASA's sophisticated rovers, Bas Lansdorp, co-founder of Mars One, believes the red planet needs human pioneers. He intends to launch four of them on the long journey to Mars in September 2022. Seven months later, in April 2023, the humans will land on Mars, the next giant leap for mankind. If it happens, it will be a giant leap indeed for those who make the voyage, because there is no plan for a return trip. Mars One invites you to join us. The Mars One website describes how robots and rovers will establish a settlement on Mars before the first humans arrive. A Nobel Prize winning physicist, Dr. Gerhard Tehuft, has become a supporter in spite of his early doubts. My first reaction was, I think like anyone who will be confronted with such an idea, this will never work. But clearly, there is no shortage of people who want it to work. Mars One says more than 78,000 have sent in videos seeking to become the first Martian settlers. Mars One is more or less a no-brainer. Welcome to Serenity One. Paul Leeming from Australia seemed already on his way. Why would I leave Earth to go and live on another planet never to return? The answer to that question may be found in the mystique of Mars, which has been so strikingly captured by NASA's rovers. Or perhaps it's just a human desire not to let robots have all the adventures. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.